Hello. Okay, today we are going to do a running workout. And we're wearing again the Exogen wearable resistance calf sleeves. I've got a bit of weight in the front, a bit of weight at the back, and it's proximal, it's at the top, so I've got 400 grams in total. So this is a workout and um, mainly mainly targeted for beginner runner, but uh, an advanced runner can also do this, although they might want to focus on one of the components. But let me explain that. Okay, so we're going to do a mix of uh, fat leg and heels. So first of all, fat leg. That's a Swedish term, um, which means speed play. So very very simple. We're mixing fast running and slow running. So I'll explain about that in a second. And the second component is, is hills. It goes without saying, it's going to be dark going up the hill. So I'm going to mix the two. We're going to start with the fat leg. I'm going to put a hill component. I'm going to finish with the fat leg. But an elite runner, an advanced runner, probably would only do the fat leg alone for a longer period or the hill workout alone for a longer period. Okay, very important, you warm up first, which means five to 10 minute easy jog. Super slow, just getting the blood flowing, and then a good uh, set of dynamic stretching, so a good set of drills, sort of 10 minutes of those drills. So you want to be doing a jog first, and then the drills, then you're ready to go. Okay, let's get up to the treadmill, and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do a fat leg element first, so we're going to do 60 seconds on a hard pace and then 60 seconds on recovery. So for me, I'm just going to push it up uh, to about my, something between my 10k and my 21k pace. Push it up a bit more, okay. So I'm going to do one minute at this pace, let's go. Focusing on technique, concentrate the breathing. So we're pushing hard but comfortable. So after 60 seconds, we we'll bring it down. Now this can either be a walk. Or just really slow jog. It should feel uncomfortably slow. You're letting your heart rate come down. You're getting yourself back under control. So we're going to do one minute at this recovery pace. And then we're ramp it back up again. So by mixing the paces, we're just working the heart up and down. We're getting ourselves more and more fatigued. So in the latter part of the workout, when we're asking our body to push hard, that's when we get the gains. Okay, so here we go up again. So one minute hard. So we're going to do six minutes in total. One minute hard, one minute easy, times three. Then we're going to do one minute rest. And we're going to repeat that. So that's a 12 minute segment. Okay, so now we're on to the hill segment. We've done the first fat leg element. So we're going to work first of all with an incline of about four degrees. And we're going to go with about 21k race pace, something like that. So it's a relatively moderate incline, but it's tough. Off we go. We're going to do one minute on that. So I can feel the slope. So I'm shortening my stride. Trying to keep a little bit on my toes and I'm working the arms a little bit more than normal. Okay, so I'm going to do one minute on that. So I'm feeling this hard. Okay, after one minute we bring it back down. We lower the pace, we lower the incline. That's your recovery. You can either jog or you can walk it. One minute, you get your heart rate down again. Okay, after that, we're going up to eight degrees in the incline. For my treadmill, this is almost at the top. So this is going to be tough. Okay, push it up. 
same pace as before, so this one's going to hurt. So let it get up to speed. Okay, one minute. So I can feel I'm really running up the steep slope. So stay very short. I'm going to use the glutes a little bit more than normal. Okay, one minute. Here we go. Okay, and after a minute of that, back down again. Onto recovery. So we're going to do the two different inclines, so that's four minutes in total. And you're going to get one minute rest, and you're going to repeat that. So that segment is eight minutes of work, plus the one minute rest. So the final little bit of fat leg is just to capitalize on the work you put in. You're tired. Now we're going to push it. We're going to do three sets, 60 seconds hard, 60 seconds recovery. And I want you to push the pace as hard as you can. So we're really going to put this up. Let it get up to speed. Okay, so this is my 10k pace. Okay, one minute, ah, here we go. And after one minute, one minute recovery, jog or walk. And we're going to do that times three. So that one is only a six minute segment for a tire. But really important, you hit your paces, you concentrate on your technique. So that's fat leg, heels, fat leg, nice little workout for beginners. You can do it inside on a treadmill, or you can do it outside, of course. If you're doing it outside with a hill, instead of the jog walk, you're just going slowly back down the hill, and then you go up on your next hard period. Well done. Okay, well done everyone, good job, nice one. Okay, you're not quite done yet. Once you've done the workout, you still need to sort of cool off a bit. Um, so what I recommend, five to 10 minutes easy jog, depending how tired you are. We're just letting the blood flow around a bit, just heal some of the damage that you've done. And then you're gonna be doing some static stretching, so just loosening off the muscles that you've worked. And then last thing, the easy part, rehydrate, refuel. Great job, everyone.